How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be running the AccuSum and my oil system in the RB25 S14. Um, pretty much I have all the parts right here already. I'll start off with these little things. So pretty much just a three-way fitting. Um, that's like an adapter. Then I got a one-way valve. Then we got the oil filter relocator. Um, it's pretty basic, just comes out of the motor and into the filter and then out. Then we got the 16 row oil cooler and the three liter AccuSump. So, I'm going to start figuring out where I'm going to put these things at so then I can get the lines made and put oil in it and start, hopefully start it up. So I'm going to see, I'm going to see where I can fit the AccuSum probably the best. I'm not sure yet. I don't want to put it into the car. So I was thinking of mounting the oil cooler here, I have to see how far it's going to stick up, probably like up to right here. So then I don't know if that's going to give me enough room to put the AccuSum right here. That's where I wanted to put it. If it fits, it would look cool, I think. Um, if it doesn't, I'm going to try to put it in the front right here. If it doesn't fit, then I have to put it into the car or all the way in the trunk. But hopefully it fits right here somewhere. Um, it'll save a lot of space in the back that I don't really have anymore. And I don't know, I don't want to put it in the back. I'd just rather keep hot oil and that kind of stuff in the front with the engine part. I don't know, it just makes more sense to me, I think. Um, so yeah, the oil filter relocator is most likely going to go right here in this area somewhere. I have to make a bracket somehow for it. Um, probably just like a little L bracket right here so I can bolt the that other bracket to this and then hold it up right here so that it can go into the motor. Um, I'll try to show you guys that in a little bit. Um, I got a cool oil adapter for it. Um, it came from Australia. It's like a plate that goes onto the motor and it has AN fittings. It has holes or the NPT fittings for the oil pressure, oil temperature, um, you can add sensors, there's four holes on it, so whatever you need, you can put it on it and you'll know right there. Um, you also have the other one on top of the block if you need more, but that should be enough right there as it is. And then, yeah, so I'm gonna start doing that, start finding out where I can fit this stuff and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So this is the one-way valve with the fitting on it, the three-way fitting. Um, I'm gonna put it on right now and I'll show you guys where it goes. All right, so this is the oil block adapter that I was talking about. I already have it all ready to go. Um, pretty much it just adapts to where the stock oil filter went. And like I said, you have the oil pressure sensor, temperature sensor, I have two pressure sensors and still the warning one for the dash the light i don't have a temperature sensor yet but i'm gonna add that um and then yeah so as you can see there's an in right there on the bottom and an out on top for the oil um this three-way fitting is gonna go right there on the in and pretty much is where the oil is gonna come back from from the oil cooler and then the accusump if it needs oil pressure. Um, so let me put this on and I'll show you guys that in a little bit also. All right, so here it is, the oil filter relocator piece. Um, I made a little bracket from just the part that I had and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right there where I was talking about, right here. It's gonna go right around there. I gotta make some holes now and put it in there. And it should be good. Um, 
There's a lot of ac access room right there. I'll be able to change the filter out really easily as I'm changing the oil also, so that'll make it a lot nicer. I'm gonna go ahead and install that, and then I'll show you guys where I'm gonna mount the oil cooler and the AccuSum soon. All right, so I got the oil relocator installed. Um, pretty nice location right there, nice and sturdy. And she's good to go. Now I'm gonna move on to fitting the oil cooler. And I'm just gonna put it right where the old one went. And that's good room right there. So I'm gonna install this and see if the AccuSense will fit. It looks like there might be room. So hopefully there's enough room for me to fit the AccuSense right here also. Uh, let me see if I can fit it. All right, so here it is, the AccuSense. I'm getting ready to install it and find a location. Uh, where I was thinking of putting it right on top of right here, it's not gonna fit. Um, I also thought about putting it right here, but I don't know, I think that might look a little weird. Tell me what you guys think. I should put it here. Or what I'm thinking is just in here, because it fits like right in there, pretty much like right in this area right here, over the, it's not gonna block this, it's gonna be right over it. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna fit it, right in the front right there. I kind of like it right there, but I don't know, I kind of will look weird, I don't know. And it's gonna be right in the way of everything, kind of, too. Um, yeah, so I'm probably just gonna put it right there. I'm gonna start installing the brackets on it, and see if I can fit it there for sure. If I can, I'm most likely just gonna put it here. Alright, so I went to the store and I got the lines made to the length and fitting sizes and bends that I need. And I'm about to install all the oiling system and have it finalized so we can try to put oil in it and build some oil pressure. Um, everything's already on. I still have to tighten up a couple of fittings here and just put everything on. I'm gonna start running the lines on there and I'll show you guys when this all put together. All right, so here it is. I got the lines installed and everything is pretty much ready to go. The only thing left I have to do now is wire up this sensor or the valve to open the AccuSump and close it, and it's good to go. Let me show you how the lines are ran. I don't know if you can see it too well, but let's see. You can see it kind of, I guess. Um, all right, so we have this line here that comes off the fitting on the motor, and it goes into the oil filter gets filtered, comes back out into this line here, and that line goes right here into the oil cooler. Then it gets cooled, comes back out of here and comes into this line, and it goes all the way around, comes on the bottom, and it gets put back into the motor on that three-way fitting, you can't really see that one. Um, it comes on the bottom over there, into that blue, one-way valve right there with three-way fitting and then it goes into the motor and then off that three-way fitting we have this other line here in the bottom that goes down here on the bottom and then it comes back up right here and into the AccuSump so that should hold the pressure if we do have a pressure drop from the pickup hopefully that stops it from having oil starvation problems and we'll see. Hopefully as I'm drifting or as I'm doing a pull, the oil, if it does move away from the pickup, the AccuSum is gonna have enough oil pre-charged to push it back into the motor. And hopefully it saves the motor. Um, that's really what the point of that thing is to do, is to help with oil starvation on pretty much any car if you have oil starvation problem. And we're gonna run it and we're gonna try it out. I'm also going to have my tuner set some like tuning parameters on the ECU so that let's say if it loses oil pressure for like a little bit, um, like a certain amount of time frame, it's going to let it still run fine. But if it like senses that it lost it for like a, 
split too long, then it's gonna cut the engine and cut boost, cut whatever it needs to cut to protect the engine and give me a warning on the dash saying that uh, your oil pressure is low or you have this problem, blah, blah, blah. And hopefully that helps me out also. So yeah, we're gonna see. I'm gonna start wiring up the sensor and just finish all the little things left that I have to do. And then on this next video that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make the oil pre-luber and add oil pressure to the engine before I even turn it over. So check back in another video, probably in the next couple of days or so, I'm gonna make that and get it going. So thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you.